Hey guys, Mumany Highland here. Your girl. In case you are new here to this channel, please please you're welcome and feel at home. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell in case I upload a new video will be the first one to be notified so today i'm here i need to help my friend she needs a piece of advice to her marriage so i need your views i need to know what you think in the comment section my friend she's married she loves her husband to an extent that she can't move out and leave him. So the husband has one problem, which is he is a drunkard. So once he drinks, is not able to perform his conjugal rights. Yani, huyu bwana ake, akilewa, hawezi kufanya mapenzi na yeye. Na ni mtu anakunya kila siku. You know, we as women, the conjugal rights, yani hiyo ni kitu ya maana sana kwetu. Na, this one will make your, your, your wife or your woman to respect you so much. So, my sister has a problem. Aminimbia, bwanake anakunyo analewa ni mtu wakulewa. Na ni mtu analewa kila siku. Na the moment akumlevi, haezi akafanya sex na yeye. Akikuja tu kwa nyumba, nikula, ama kulara hana ile nguvu yani it's like his bullying ho haifanyi kazi wakati amelewa yani haikuwa active akilewa so sister yangu anahitaji maoni yenu huenda yakamsaidia lakini hataki kuachana na bwanake ndio anakunywa na hataki kwenda nje ya ndoa kwa haribu ndoa yake eti ametoka nje ya ndoa juu ya sex so tumsaidiaje so on my side mimi nazampea my opinion kumwambia hivi kitu cha kwanza prayer akwe mtu wa kuomba kila time asubuhi akiamka anapiga magoti anaombea bwanake any time akiomba analilia Mungu anamwambia mahitaji yake anataja jina la bwanake Mungu naye haezi muasha God in heaven answers prayers kitu cha pili mimi nilimshauri hivi kitu cha pili amuonyeshe tu upendo ka bwanake na akuya akimuongelesha you know a change doesn't come once it's a gradual mtu anapadilika tu kidogo kidogo so akuya akimuongelesha ka bwanake wakati ajalewa kama ni asubuhi kama hajatoka anamuongelesha anamwambia my darling of course in a journal kunywa and you are addicted do you think in life to survive ukiendelea kunywa hivi hmm? imagine im, hata akitumia 20 pop ama 50 pop per day kukunywa imagine hii 50 pop ni pesa mop hii 50 pop unaweza nunua sukuma ya 10 bob Ununua kiberiti. 
ya 5 bob unue chumvi ya 15 bob ununue hata nyanya ya 10 imetosha unafula so akwa akimwadi wise kabwa nake akimwambie tu this life and we have to build our future as a wife and husband so tell it you we are getting better unatumia kidogo and we save at least can 10 pop a day amongelesha tu kabwa nake na amwambie the moment analewa i'm satisfied na kufanya sex na hataki kuenda nje ya ndoa anamwangalisha tu mwambie jumia sitaki kutoka nje ya ndoa na ni my our, our life ama our marriage what you are doing it's like you're forcing me to do it and i don't want to do ana i don't want to go out of our marriage amongeleshe ata change so the next thing mimi nilimwambia kama wakati huyu bwana kajalewa kompresa yake inakuwa active inafanya kazi na wakati akilewa kompresa haifanyi kazi so me i advised han kamwambia because unahitaji ayo mapenzi and you need that sex and you don't want to go away or to betray your marriage kutafuta wanaume wengine huko nje eti mfanye sex na wao je siku hizi kuna ugonjwa kuna magonjwa mengi by the even if unatumia condom a condom si 100% sometimes inaweza fika mahali and it passed eh ikipasuka ni nini kitaendelea si ile polingo tu itakuwa in touch with that thing so mimi nikamwambia aonyeshe bwana yake mapenzi alafu at least anafanya ni kama it's like a surprise anamwambia babe you know what leo utoki nje leo naenda nikubaiye hmm? naenda nikuletea msinga peke yangu naenda ninunue ni, ni nikuletee hapa kwa nyumba ukunywe hapa kwa nyumba nikiwa na wewe hmm? automatic haezi akakata enda nunua lete pika chakula kizuri mpike make sure amekula ameshiba akishiba go to bed kufanya hiyo kazi be satisfied sexually akimaliza kazi yake kutoka kwa kitanda mpayo mzinga apige aingie kwa kitanda alale so long as amefanya nini amekuhakikishia yani amekusatisfy umefanya mapenzi umemaliza sasa akunywe na alale kesho akiamka kwa sawa hiyo ndo nilimwambia so that is the next thing nilimwambia i think hiyo itamsaidia ndo apate yale mapenzi yake ama apate hiyo right yake hiyo conjugal rights yani ndo apate hiyo sex ananunua anamletea wanapika wanakula wanaenda bed wanapiga hiyo kitu wakimaliza ndo mzee anakunywa hiyo pombe yake anaingia kwa bed wanalala so tare said let me know what you think ama ingekuwa ni wewe ungemsaidiaje do that was my opinion so ingekuwa ni wewe my fan ungemsaidiaje let me know what you think in the comment section please thank you for watching welcome and welcome back again i love you i pleasure you for your subscription bye and we meet next time